Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Etrian Odyssey. I am VR Ingenious, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we found out that we're gonna have to deal with an ant. We're gonna have to deal with the ant queen on the 12th floor. And not by request of the Rada, no, no, they said, oh, you should do more exploration of this area. But, um... By by no one's request at all because they said oh you should venture deeper into the um, into the rainforest into the azure rainforest to meet the humanoid creatures that are supposed to be around there and to talk to them. But um, before we can do that, we have to deal with that ant queen that is located right in the weird looking area in the middle. And how that's gonna happen, I don't know yet. I have no clue. I'm gonna have to find a way, and to do that, we're gonna have to go in. Like, one way, of course, grind up, Eric, you're way too weak at this point. We could just grind a little bit and then be done. Hmm, hmm, I could do that. I could deal with a couple of turtles. I don't think I have gotten the turtle drop yet. That's actually one way of doing it. I'm gonna try to take care of a couple of turtles. There's enough around on this floor. And um, we're gonna... I, I would like to do that anyways. We have to gain a couple of levels. I also thought about going back, dealing with a couple of mammoths, maybe get selling 10 mammoth tusks, um, give, me a new, give me access to a new weapon. It's unlikely, but at least it's gonna give me a lot of money. And if anything, I'll be able to blow the money on, on buff items to go against the Royal Ant Queen. You know, I've sold all my buff items in the past. Might have not been that good of an idea. Might not have been. Is Ren still here? Maybe she's got some advice. She is not around. She most assuredly is not around. Okay, Mr. Turtle. I'm gonna give it to ya. Gonna deal with ya. Remember, turtles are also not enemies that we should mess around with. They are quite ferocious, quite strong, and um, if we deal with one, we should deal with it with caution. Shell tour, preemptive attack, that is exactly the kind of ca caution I mean. Hellcry, exactly the kind of caution I was talking about. Hellcry will put me into a different, into a difficult spot. No, that thing has too much defense. It's probably just gonna use the, the AoE attack. All things considered. What did you just... You used Cure. I do not want you to use Cure. You can use True Shot, we'll have to deal with more than one turtle. One hundred and ten damage to a defense debuffed Keenan. I don't want to use more parrying. I mean, parrying is not that good if he doesn't get attacked. I was hoping that Provoke level 10 would actually lead to him getting attacked more often, but it's not. It's not It's not going the route I wanted to take, or I wanted to go. You're not attacking the person who you are supposed to. I mean, defending the back row with Arbuckle might be more useful than what he currently has. The provocation. I, I I need the provocation to do more. Hey, it, it it doesn't work anymore. We have to pick up back art at least. Only down to ha have it. We only have it down to half health, and our party is all, all already looking horrible. Okay, it's lucky that that missed three times. 
but um, that's not gonna be I cannot be, be, be relieved that that happened I'm gonna have to heal Barracus up again and the skills that Barracus have has access to only a pylon is really good Oh, Chuckles. Oh, Chuckles. Please live. Please live. Oh my god. Yeah, that was expected. Turns out Turtle is a problem. He is a problem child. If I've ever seen... God damn it. You had to, didn't you? You just had to kick me in the mouth. I'm looking for experience here, Chuckle Face. 100 shell. 100 shell. Okay, that's what I wanted. We'll, we'll go right back to town and see if I can craft some armor out of that. Because if I can, that's going to be a boost. Oh, maybe deal with one more turtle on the way there. No, a turtle is too tough. Would have never thought I'd say that, but a turtle is too tough of an enemy to just deal with. Crit and double attack. Good lord. But I wish that double attack was a little, was a little smarter. If it, if it procs that you not only attack that one enemy, but also attack the other. Our buckle leveled up again. We already maxed out Provoke. I would like to go for Angard, but I'm gonna shield skill that may take damage in the back's line, line's place. I'm gonna try it. Guard chance. Might as well try that out. Angard has not been that good. It's not procced even once, and the enemies have been attacking quite a bit. And um, it is at level 3, too. So I'm surprised that it doesn't, you know, I, that it is so rare to, for that to proc. It's worse than with double hit. Okay, we'll try to get, see what we get from 100 shells. Because we need something special right now. We need something that's actually a little more potent that, than what we already have. Because that Ant Queen is quite a guardian. That is quite something. Schleka, what can you give me for this? And please don't tell me it's just 2,000. 1,700. 100-year-old uh, turtoises shell. Amber ring. Mm. That doesn't seem impressive. 6,500 defense and ailment resist. Legendary charm said to protect its wearer's body. Ailment resist sounds awesome, but it doesn't sound like something I'll need against the Ant Queen. Hmm... The only thing I'm really missing with Eric is a buffing skill. I wish I had something... Oh yeah, increases the party's attack. We don't have anything like that. The only thing he has as a, sp as a buffing skill is either the regeneration or this immunize. All these others are that party members will survive mortal blows with 1 HP. But thing is, with this skill, I, I do not even know if that applies to... Uh, if that applies to everyone for, for five turns, or if it wears off after two turns, it sucks. Regeneration is a nice thing, but we don't know how, the, how long that goes on for. And immunize? Ugh. I mean, resistance to all elements. It's nice, but how long does it last? And um, how good is it? What kind of percentage? I wish I got a little more information from this game. I really wish. Uh, that's not that's not in the cards for me. 
And now the, the Amber Charm is not as effective anymore because I already picked up the refreshing skill with Eric. Hmm. I will sleep again and try to deal with the Ant Queen. It's kind of luck based. It is kind of luck based. If if they if the Ant Queen takes out Eric first things first, that that is a problem. But if it doesn't, we are we might have a chance. Like there is a chance against that thing. It's not a good one. I'd also like to go through the entire thing and create the, the get the toxic barbs and all the other little side stuff I was supposed to do. I would just like to do exploration, but I can't. The game doesn't let me. Because it puts me up against an ant queen. We're not that far away from level ups. I'm probably I'm probably gonna get those before I deal with it. Is there anything I maybe have overlooked? No, it doesn't seem like it. I didn't look overlook an area leading into the southern area. I mean that's always a viability that I just didn't find something. I'll walk the perimeter again just in case. I'm sorry. I I mean I don't I have confidence in my mapping skills, but only to a point. But if I do this, I won't want to go against Mr. M Mrs. Ant Queen right now. Cause if I get a level up or if I get the experience, I won't have it afterwards anymore. That Ant Queen asshole really has me thinking. Okay, I leveled up Eric. What are you gonna get? I would like to go for Immunize. The next thing here is Heal Curse. Not necessary right now. Unbind. Not necessary from one party member only. Regeneration requires healer of level 5 and cure level 5. CPR requires self 3? We don't have self 3. We have the self 2, right? Cure 2 above level 3. What is cure 2 at? Level 1. Not happening. I like to upgrade self. I, I think upgrading self is, is worth leveling, up that, uh, leveling that up to level 5. Right now we heal 51 and maybe this actually got me to a point where I heal like 61 would be nice. We're looking for a way into a southern area that we have not yet found. Basically just a way for, for us not to have to deal with that stupid ant queen. Because the ant queen is too powerful. I'm unhappy about it too. I am as unhappy and as, and as unsatisfied as you are. But I can't believe they would put that thing in front of me. Can't believe that. I should have used the I should have used Volt. Arbuckle. What does this do? You suffer damage from the curse. Every time one attacks with a curse, they da get damaged. Oh, curse is a horrible thing. But it's always dependent on how much damage you actually deal to the enemy. It's 
let's look at these walls. Nope. Hmm. Okay, that thing walked right inside of me. Why do you blindside me? No! You can't do that right now. You can't. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with 10,000 blood ants right now. Don't tell me unable. Oh man. Okay, now I have to deal with it. Well, that sucks. Do not escape. You can start up an Apollon on that thing. There'll be a blood ant rushing in every turn now. At least these guys don't curse. But now my my speed is in the well, not in a good spot. We'll can we can try back guard once. Actually, that's a bad idea because Arbuckle's health is at a non Good point. I'll try to do salve. Let's hope they, that guy does not get attacked immediately. Defending the rear lines. Oh. Do that again. What's that do? He didn't take any damage from that. He just lowered the attack, or did it? Monstrous joint, yeah. That says take damage in the back line's place, but he didn't do that a second ago. I might not understand that skill yet. That warrants testing. Defending the rear, rear lines. Arrows rain from the sky. I wish Chuckles was a little faster because that enemy is not going to be existent. At that point anymore. How much is that? 60? That's good. There's another, another blood ant rushing in. I have to deal with these, otherwise those guys are not gonna... I, they, those guys are just gonna come rushing at me. I don't want to deal with 10,000 blood ants. I don't. Big problem. It is already a respawn blood ant. That's another respawn blood ant. God damn it. Come on, just deal with it. My last multi hit. This turn, it has to be the. No! God damn it. Okay. One more blood ant to deal. No, actually, two more. Ah, man. Or is the thunder enough to deal with a death ant? It is! Oh, goodness. Goodness. What a problem. Chuckles leveled up. Customized Chuckles. One skill point. I could put all those into Volt Up. I've been using a lot of Thunder. Now you move that direction, eh? Well, I got through somehow. Okay, what's my uh, HP situation look like? Actually, that's fine. We're not going against the Death Ant right now, by the way. Uh, I'm, what, and what I mean by Death Ant is actually uh, we're not going against the Royal Ant right now.
But you hopefully understand why I've got so much trouble with this situation. Because there's really no good thing to do right now. They put me up against this really strong enemy and I have nothing to do about it. I have no ace in the hole. I have no way around it. I'll go back and heal up again. We already leveled up a couple of times. Well, and by a couple of times, I mean twice. That blows. I guess we could go back and try to deal with a cutter with one person, namely Keenan. Although that's probably going to be horrible. I'll need a good. I'll need a good defense buff for that. Or Arbuckle, not Arbuckle. Arbuckle does not deal an, deal enough damage against it. We'll first sell all our stuff and then we'll get the party ready for that task. Sell everything. Yep, seven steel bones, that's it. Just seven steel bones. I'm probably gonna need the. I'm gonna, probably gonna need a medic hour too. I'll also get a defense buff. By medicine, you had stonard, right? But that's only stonard one. That's fine. I'll buy one. We can see how potent this stonard actually is. We will sleep yet again, and then we'll go in there. I'm gonna still do that in this episode because there was nothing that happened here. And I do feel bad about that, I do feel bad about it. For now, I have accepted that quest, right? Uh, feat of Strength. Though the guild has usually advises having five party members, we will reward a solo defeat of the Cutter on B6F. Of the Cutter. I hope they just mean one. One random Cutter. Formation taking Keenan in the front row. Keenan! This is gonna be good. That's the party I wish. Man, you're either a hero or an idiot. Better come back alive or else. Yeah, yeah, idiot pretty much, you know, hits the mark. Cutters are strong too, that shred ability. Primitive jungle. I did not pick up the chime that I wanted. But cutters are right around the corner. But he said the cutter. I'm I'm worried about what cutter he means. It's probably gonna cut me apart. One cutter. First I'll use the stonerd, and then I'll heal have to heal myself up again. Do not terrify me, please! No! God damn it, Keenan! Shredder doesn't do that much. Oh god damn it, Keenan. You shouldn't have defended when he cried. That was easy. You suddenly remember the quest you accepted at the pub, the quest to defeat the cutter in single combat. You realize, startled, that you have just accomplished it. All that's left is to leave the labyrinth alive and report back to the pub. I intend to do that right now. Okay, you're the man! Jesus! That is quite something. Quite something. Okay, let's do the real formation. Eric in the back, Keenan in the front, Arbuckle as the party leader, Chuckles in the way back point, and Barrack is here. Giggles not happening. I'm wondering, I, I, I'm thinking about signing up a samurai, but I won't do that. Accept quests, no. Report results. Feat of strength. It completed. Obtained 1000 credits. You really beat the cutter all by yourself? Nice one. Win or lose though, I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. I know you need to hone your skills, but try not to do anything too rash. Anything new? No. So, Mr. Guildhouse Master, what do you say? Nothing? 
You sign up a good crew? If you didn't, give it some thought. You'll regret it later. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that was nothing. Cool. For the moment, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.